What's up everybody, Krista here and welcome back to another video. So today I actually just wanted to do a quick update on the E30 because I haven't really touched it for a while ever since the wedding skids and whatnot has pretty much been pushed aside because of the Chevy project. But as you can see the Chevy chassis is finally out of the shed. It has had a bit of neglect, it got a heap of work just before our wedding. Obviously rebuilding the motor and all that, getting it all ready for wedding skids. But it did take a beating and it's pretty much been neglected since then. And we were just gonna sort of get it back up and going mechanically all sweet and try and get to Carnival. But I'm thinking I might try and do all the mechanical stuff as well as get it all painted and prettied up and heaps of the more cosmetic things done that I wanna get done. And then try and have it all ready to rock and roll for our reunion early next year because the body is in a bit of a state now like I, I, I do like the whole rough multicolored look and stuff but it's sort of it's been like that for a while now so i think it's time to try and make it look shiny you don't have to look very hard before you start seeing pretty gnarly dents and scratches everywhere a little dent there the, i need to finish off tight in the top of these guards that was like bogged that i was bogging up the side of a truck on a job and there was some left over on the paddle, so I just chucked it on the top of the guards. Just need to even finish off painting and prettying up all the um, widening I've done. Like everything's still just bare metal. And also when I was doing the burnouts, you would have seen on the video, I tore the inner guard. Sheet metal in there. So I need to repair that. I want to fix up these holes in the rear firewall. These speaker holes and there's also a couple other cuts where it was a bit of a change in design. Just want to get everything buttoned up and nice. They also need to match this door. I haven't pulled as much weight out of this door as I have that door. I'll show you in a minute. There's a heap more holes in the steel cut out, out of that door. I want to strip the interior, get the interior painted white. Finish off the homologation for the cage. I just got to send off the paperwork pretty much. I did notice, I drove, we drove it to across town to my old ladies. There was no brakes. Well there was, but there was just pretty much nothing, it would, so there's a leak somewhere. Looks like it might be through one of the bulkhead fittings in the firewall. Um, which it works sweet at the wedding, but I don't know if just constantly holding the brake on at the wedding sprung a leak because I'd only just finished it before that. This door here is pretty gnarly. As you can see, that door's had a bit of a hiding. This guard here is a bit munted, I need to straighten that out. I uh, had a few beers and was trying to back out the shed to do a skid. And managed to catch the guard on the door over there. I also want to take some of the mufflers out of the exhaust. It's going to straight pipe it a bit more. It, it, I don't mind how it sounds now, but may as well make it sound rowdy. And as far as the mechanical stuff goes, the it wasn't charging properly, so I and also it got hot at the wedding. So I have a low temp thermostat, low temp thermostat for it. Green Brothers Bullet Impeller water pump so they use these brand new GMB water pumps and swap their billet impellers into it so these are like way better for cooling efficiency and no cavitation or lower cavitation than a factory one at high rpms and also a new alternator and this is actually a nice small unit actually I believe off of a Suzuki. Uh, it's only 50 amp draw, fits the factory 12A mounts and it's nice and small and light. Some of you that maybe have been watching the E30 build from the start know like my main goal for it is weight reduction. So slightly smaller alternator, lower drag water pump. Um, I do want to try and cut some more weight out of it, not just the doors. I'll show you what I've done on those other doors. Holes in the door handles. So we've got holes all along here. Also have a few extra holes along here and I do want to cut more holes out the bottom. The bottom is still steel all the way along. So I do need to shed that weight. But some weight will be going back in on that rear firewall and the rear guards. But that's more for like structural stuff and keep smoke out. Where the, fire, where the fuel tank is in this, um, it's not really too much of a concern for fire getting in because it's way down underneath. Um, so once I get these holes all nicely blocked off, then that will be pretty sweet because the fuel tank's yeah, up underneath where the rear seats would be, up under here. And I've just kept it there. I didn't go to a rear fuel cell or anything just because it's pretty much in the perfect place for weight. 
Okay, so this is the engine bay at the moment. It's still not looking too bad. I'll show you. I think it's one of those fittings, brake fittings down there leaking. I'll have to get in there and just maybe have to redo the flare or something. So I'm going to swap out that alternator. I was going to go side mount, but I ended up just going for still top mount, but just easier, a smaller unit. Besides that, everything else is still sweet in, in the engine bay, to be honest. Um, I do have a leak in behind here. There's a little O-ring that should be in there between the manifold and the block. Um, and I got a feeling I left the O-ring out and just had seal, a seal in there. And I noticed the other day, after I started up, after it was sitting, it dripped coolant out from under there. So while I'm doing all the other work, I'll get that pulled apart and resealed up and hopefully no water's actually got into the block. Um, it shouldn't have, I've cranked it over a few times too to make sure it's not sitting there pitting away. Um, I do also have some graphics in mind that I want to do on it. It starts sinking into it with a lot more time and get it all prepped up and painted nicely. And then I can start figuring out what I want to do with the graphics exactly. So that's just about it for the E30. Uh, hopefully there'll be some more videos coming up of it soon because I'm definitely going to run out of time if I don't start soon. So cheers for checking out this quick update and we'll hopefully have some skids on in no time.